4,000 years ago, twins were born, Jacob and Esau. Twins look the same, they act the same, they are the same. But God chose Jacob over Esau, and a bitter battle between brothers was born. Fast forward 1,000 years, Jacob is now Israel, Esau is Edom. And in the days of Jehoram, king of Judah, Jerusalem, the once capital of a divided Israel, is being pillaged by the Philistines and Arabians. Edom, who of all people should help, watches smugly from the sidelines. For the first time, Edom, not Israel, is winning, and Israel now fears they have become expendable. Has God just ditched them for their twin? It is at this critical moment that Obadiah is written. Edom is the greatest threat to Israel's confidence that God still loves them. But in Obadiah, God turns Edom into the greatest sign that he will never stop fighting for them. This is the vision of Obadiah. This is what God has to say to Edom. A time is coming when I will rally every nation on earth to go to war against you. And at that moment, I will strip you of everything you love. You think your cities nestled high in the mountains can save you? I live above you. I will just drag you down. You think your wealth can sustain you? Thieves steal until they get what they want. I will steal until you have nothing left. You think your reputation can spare you? You say, we have allies. We can call for help. Don't you see? Your allies are my spies. You say, we have intelligent minds who can figure this out. Fierce warriors who can stare death in the face. Don't you get it? Your smartest men will die before you can hatch a plan, and your champions will melt in fear before me. All because you messed with my son, your brother, Jacob. When the Philistines attacked Jerusalem, you just stood there watching. When the Arabians raided the city, you joined the heist. But I'm giving you a second chance. A time will come 300 years from now when you will be faced with the same decision. Don't do it again. Certainly, don't take it a step further. But you just can't help yourself, can you? You will trigger the day of the Lord. On that day, I will judge you and every nation with you until every wrong is made right. But I will allow survivors from Israel to escape my wrath, because I will make them holy. They will get their revenge, Edom, for all the times you wronged them, and there will be no survivor for you. Then this remnant will finally live up to their potential. They will settle in every land I promised them. From the mountains of Edom to the coast of Philistia, every square inch I pledged them will be theirs. And when all is said and done, ambassadors on behalf of their savior will come back to a new Jerusalem to reign in judgment over Edom. Because at that time, all authority in heaven and on earth will belong to the Lord. This is the prophecy that starts it all. This is the beginning of the end. This is Obadiah.